Hey guys! Welcome back to another video in this video. We're going to talk about what actually is the arc reactor that is located on the chest of Tony Stark. So, let's start. So, the story starts from World War II in which Tony's father named Howard Stark, who we saw in Captain America, the first Avenger was studying the Tesseract from which he got the idea to make a new power source from it. So he made the first arc reactor with his friend named Anton Vonko. This arc reactor was very big, which gave power to the whole Stark Industries, but because of the technological restrictions in the past, this arc reactor didn't get any changes. Cost effective, we knew that before we built it. Arc reactor technology, that's a dead end, right? Until he gets kidnapped by a group of terrorists named the Ten Rings after which he developed the arc reactor. <laughs> Even further, we saw this in Iron Man, one in which, while being kidnapped, he gets fainted from his own bomb and gets metal pieces around him into his chests, which were nearly impossible to take out. So to save Tony Stark Jensen, who is also kidnapped by the Ten Rings, inserted an electromagnet into Tony's chest from which the metal pieces in his chest get stopped at one place. But to power that electromagnet, Jensen puts a car battery. So to remove this car battery and power the electromagnet with a small power source, after which Tony built an arc reactor, which was very small from the original arc reactor, this was the history of the arc reactor. For the full recap, you can watch the video link in the description, and you can also click on the i button. Now, let's know what the arc reactor actually does on Tony's chest. So this arc reactor basically has two works. One is of working as an electromagnet to save him from the metal pieces, and the second one is to power the Iron Man suit that he built in the cave. My turn. Tony has done many changes in the arc reactor and in his suits from time to time, which can be seen in Infinity War, that now he only uses his arc reactor to power up his suite. And we can also see the changes in his suite also done with Mark 50. So the biggest change of the arc reactor was in Iron Man 2, in which he made a completely new arc reactor with the help of his father's experiments and from vibranium, and this arc reactor was used with the Mark 6 arm. Hopefully, now you know the whole history and every detail of the arc reactor. So that was it for this video. If you liked this video, then make sure you like the video and comment down in the comment box. And to be updated with the industry, you can also subscribe. Thanks for watching.